Hello, so um, I did promise you a tutorial on ATCs and what an ATC is. So an ATC basically is an artist trading card. They are tiny little bits of artwork um, and you can sew on them. You can use fabric, you can use embossing texture paste. You can use whatever your little heart desires. So I'm proposing that we have the very first of the artist trading card. Um, oh, I don't know what you would call it. But basically I'd like to start an ATC thread where we all join in. I know that the idea of these is that we swap them um, but at the moment we aren't meeting and postage can be a bit prohibitive so let's just make some ATCs um, and we'll use a weekly prompt um, and that will give us some ideas. Now I would like you to do whatever your technique is. This is my technique. Um, this is how I do a lot of my cards anyway. Um, if you've met me at craft group that you'll know that I, I make cards in this fashion all the time. Um, I'm a little bit stuck in a way with it but I love it so I don't want to get out of it. Um, my preferred method is ink and stamps. That's what I do with my cards anyway. I haven't worked out how to sew. I can hardly thread needle as it is. I can do basic cross stitch um, but ink really floats my boat. So that's what I'm going to be using on my ATCs. You can use bits of cut up magazine, bits of journaling, you can write on yours, you can doodle on it. Um, I'm hoping that I'll show you my method and somebody else will show what their method of ATCs are. Um, I know this might not be for everybody, this is just for fun, there is nothing to worry about here, we don't want to be shaming anybody who feels that their crafting isn't good enough. Um, Ayrshire Craft Group's never been about who's better than anybody else, it's all about having fun, doing your craft, meeting friends, so please don't feel intimidated by this. Um, we are li literally talking about a tiny little rectangle that is blank. Um, and you do what you want with it. Um, hopefully others will post up because I know there's a few in the group who've done ATCs before. So three minutes of an introduction. Let us go on. Um, so my preferred method at the moment is a jelly plate. Um, it is a fantastic tool. Um, it, I can ink on it, I can stamp on it, I can chuck paint on it and then I can just rinse it under a tap or chuck a baby wipe over it. It's quite flexible, there's no smell to it, it's it's fantastic. If you don't have jelly plates, have a think about getting one. They come in a number of different shapes and sizes. I've got this square 6x6 six six one, I also have in here a little round one. Um, I don't tend to use this as much, um, I'm not sure why, um, but this this jelly pad is my thing. So when I'm inking, my love at the moment is distress inks and distress oxides. So I've got some oxide sprays that I bought off one of the group members actually. Um, she bought them but I don't think they were really for her. So they've got a little ball and you have to shake them um, and then you scoot them on your plate. The thing about jelly plates is that you can do this several times and each time your inked item will come out very very differently. Um, no two ATCs that you make or cards that you make will ever be the same with a jelly plate. So all I'm going to do now is chuck a couple of bits of card down. Um, for me crafting should be easy and fun. So I'm just squidging it down. I'll pick it up 
and as you can see um, we've got some textures what I like to do is to tip it on its edge and you can see that the ink runs down makes movements round about um, with oxides and distress inks so particularly with oxides I could dry this off um, and then pop it back into the jelly plate and it would layer my inks um, it, to me gives me very very different backgrounds nothing will ever be the same and I love that um, and I like the textures that you get with with oxides are just fantastic so I've got some I'll pop these off to the side to dry um, and I might have some I thought I had some that I'd made earlier um, but I don't so but that's this is how I do my ATCs so I've got a tag as a background I'm just going to clean off this jelly plate just now just using a bit of kitchen roll pop that up and chuck it over here um, and I'll get rid of the oxide inks so that I've got a bit more room to work in and I'll take some of that off so as I am working we'll just kid on that this tag that I made earlier um, is my work that I have just done just now um, and I will get one of my ink pads I'm only working in a tiny space I'm in the middle of rearranging my entire living room um, where my craft area is and it's an utter riot um, I might need some help um, I had it organised and, and yeah it became very unorganised very quickly um, so what I'm going to use is, I'm probably going to use one of, let me see, so I've got some field mice, I've got some bunnies, mm -hmm. so I'll use one of those, I stupidly didn't put out everything that I needed right away that would have been clever um, but it's not like me to to be organized as you know so what I'll do is I've got my misty here and I'll use my misty so this is a stamping tool this has been invaluable um, you can get other stamping platforms but this is this is my preferred one um, because it's mine um, Drew got me it when I was passing exams um, and that was my well done for passing exams so alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my tag I'm going to pop it in the corner because it's easier to do it that way my mouse I'm going to stamp this one here. Now he looks as always in the middle of the the card, but that's okay um, because I'm going to pop him up in a little hill, um, and I'll pop his friend just there. So make sure that that's there. Now the handy part about this is if I want to go over, if I don't get a good enough stamp the first time because it's lined up in the misty I can do it again so I'm going to use Versafine clear inks um, I these are my preferred ink um, at the moment um, of course the minute something new comes onto the market I've got to try it and love it just as much so I'm just off camera just stamping that mouse making sure my tag is in the corner and there we go so there's my mouse I think he could do with an extra wee ink so I'll just do that just now and this is the reason that I love my misty because it allows me to stamp um, without 
creating problems for myself. Um, so there we go. So these are my mice. So what I'm going to do now is get a wee brush and I'm going to tear a bit of paper. Now I'm probably just going to use an ATC because all I need is a, a hill for my mice to stand on. So as easy as that is. So I'm just going to make sure that his feet aren't suspended in midair. So I'm just going to pop this here and I'm going to use Twilight which is a navy blue. Um, what I like to do is have a bit of card off side just to take off excess ink and I'm just creating a hill for my mouse to sit on. Now his feet are still dangling and that's not good for me. I'm not impressed by dangling feet. So I'll just move this ever so slightly up. And there we go. So there's our mouse. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create some extra areas in the background. Um, now in here I should have a grey. There we go. So I'll pop the twilight away and I'm going to use morning mist which is a nice grey ink. I will take the excess blue off there and use this. Now with this one I want to create a bit of a mountain range because I think my mouse should be um, and it's easier for me just to turn it to the side and then I'm going to dust nothing fancy as you can see it makes an absolutely stunning mountain range um, and what I'm going to do is turn that there and I'm going to angle my paper and just lightly, not going to add any more ink to the brush. And if you lift it carefully, you can see another mountain. I'll do the same over here. And again, just using the ink that's already on the brush. There we go. We have that. Now, next up... Um, I'm going to pause you for a wee second just to uh, grab my ink block. Right, so we're back in the room. <laughs> um, so I've got my ink blocks. I will get rid of the grey now. It's done its job. Um, and I'm going to use the navy blue. Um, I'm going to pop a few wee leaves onto my my background and I'm going to cut this off later on so that it's ATC sized um, so I am not fussed about having um, the top showing because I am going to cut this down it will be slightly bigger than ATC if I look at it for now so all I'm doing is stamping across so what I'm going to do next is second, so stamp off and do a second row, stamp off and that's just making sure that the ink isn't too dark because the last thing you want is dark ink. Um, you really want to create different layers um, and you can do that as you can just see and no more. Um, if I bring this up, you can see that there are different layers of the leaves. Um, I'm going to, what else have I got? Get another relief here, so I'll use it and then I will 
post this up in the group and hopefully you guys can show me some of your ATCs um, and I would absolutely love it if you could um, and I think what we'll do is we'll start off with an A to Z um, which I think will be a fabulous way because you can literally pick what you want um, from the alphabet so week one will be this week and the prompt calls for something beginning with the letter A so you could use an astronaut you could use um, an ant you can use auburn literally anything that begins with the letter A um, and I would love to absolutely love to see what you make alright so these are my ATCs. Um, I quite like the fantasy feel um, and I cannot wait to see what you guys make. Do me proud. <laughs> 